all right what is going on welcome to the channel all right special auto park video for you guys here today in this video we're going to be testing out the new launched park assist with fsd beta and this is available in all tesla cars with hardware 3 or hardware 4 with or without ultrasonic sensors so let's start with this spot right in front of this car here i'm like kind of on the speed bump a little bit and we're starting from behind the car and actually what it's going to do is move up forward a lot like it's pretending like there's a car now in front of me where i'm going to be and now the car is going to use the camera to detect my surroundings and based on that parallel park for me so we've got a car coming to our left here took into account and notice how it basically maps out an area where the car can fit and uses the angles to squeeze me into that spot and it it it, it sees the lines it gets very close to the car behind me but if it can do this in one swipe honestly that's pretty darn good and it does just like that auto park complete and wow i have to say it did an awesome job there so let's put it through another test actually since um since that one worked great we want to test it out a little bit more i'm actually going to try to find a bit of a tighter spot and see what it does um, and kind of go from there. Also, actually, let's go ahead and test this situation with the speed bump. Now, this is thrown off FSD in the past, so let's see what happens here. I'm in the middle. I'm over a speed bump right now. You can see it actually show up in the visualization. The last time I tried this over a speed bump, Auto Park aborted, and it made it over the speed bump no problem this time. And as you can see, it's doing a really good job backing up and now it's straightened itself out using the car in front of me and the space that it mapped out on the vision here. It knows that's what it has to work with. It knows there's no car behind me, so it's gaining that space as well, too. And it's going to perfectly align me. Look how it picks up the person walking by, too. Just a real phenomenal upgrade um, with the whole high fidelity visualization going on here and look at the way auto park came to a complete there and it did a phenomenal job auto parking um and since we've got actually um a reverse spot right here i want to show you also how it does with reversing so let's see how it does with picking up the fact that that's a reverse spot and look at there it already picked it up and uh let's see i can come to a complete stop from right at this moment and it's gonna align me up with this spot and let's see in this uh, part what it's gonna do in a reverse park so now it's getting pretty close to these cars to my left here I mean I started it in a weird spot and now I've got a car coming up behind me so it needs to hurry its way in before I block traffic which I'm not looking to do at all hopefully looks like this guy should be able to squeeze by me perfect oh and I had to take over I don't know if FSD was gonna stop right there so I had to take over there and let's see what it does now so that was a real tight situation the car was still coming and FSD started moving a little bit so I, I paused it by tapping the brake and then it let me automatically resume it, which is cool because in the past, it in the middle of you parking, if you abort it, um, it doesn't let you continue it then. It takes a while, you have to like reshift gears and this reverse job took three or four attempts here. I'm surprised, but it looks like it figured it out now um, maybe because I started it in such a weird angle. Um, the old auto park didn't even let you start it until you were pretty much halfway into the spot. Or at least angled yourself to be positioned to park. Then the P would pop up. But now, 
and basically just shows up everywhere like as long as you're I think going pretty much under 10 miles per hour then FSD is scanning for parking spots around you and uh, if you're obviously going faster than that then it's not so we're gonna test out one more auto park here in this video um, it looks like we've got some some trying to find and squeeze into the really like you know in between two cars the tightest possible parking I see one further ahead looks a little bit tighter than in between these two cars so we're gonna test that out and we're gonna test it out in this live video with live traffic happening around me so we can really see what it does ah, now I'm seeing this spot in person doesn't look as tight as I thought it was but let's see what happens now when we park behind this car so I'm gonna put my indicator on also so the car behind me knows that we're getting ready to park and I'm gonna go ahead and start it so let's see since this car is parked up to the curb so it's gonna show me you know a little bit of a tighter space here so I want to judge how FSD does in this little bit of a tighter space so really nice job backing in and let's see it should you know in, in this one clean swipe be able to now complete the auto part which yeah I have to say it's it's doing a really phenomenal job all in all I'm really impressed with the fact that they brought in ultrasonic sensors uh, ultrasonic sensor cars to have this ability it, it feels like that they let they almost let FSD uh, learn on hardware for cars for like a couple months and then they sort of like pass that knowledge on to the hardware three cars because the way the visualization looks like it looks a lot like what it does on the hardware four cars and that's really amazing look how it's already selecting these spots here um, for me and it's just that's so phenomenal we're gonna do one more park here to see how it does so we're just gonna select a spot um, actually I don't really want to be in the middle of traffic like this here so let's see if we can just try to quickly select this spot now here we go and just bring the car to a stop and hit start so let's see how long this takes now there is a car coming up behind me so I don't want to take too long all right here we go so this should be able to now just squeeze right in there all right let's see what the car does and it worked its way around that person was really kind of upset that I pulled up I get it um, but they, they were just being a little impatient and just trying to go around me FSD didn't abort which I'm really glad to see that it worked you know nicely around people it didn't take that much different you know time than I really would have let me know what you think about this new auto park upgrade um, this is a 2022 model 3 with ultrasonic sensors so everything you saw that the car just did um, it's amazing that it can do that uh, and you know the fact that the car gets better over time it's it's really incredible so yeah let me know your thoughts I want to know what everyone thinks you know because I honestly didn't think that this was coming to hardware three cars I thought it was kind of an exclusive for hardware four cars so yeah let me know what your thoughts are below hit that like button if you did enjoy this video make sure you subscribe for more thanks again for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.